Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Welcome to today's all age service. Um, shall we start with prayer? So, Father God, thank you that you are in the midst of us today, and I pray that you will just be with us as we worship you and to help us to draw closer to you, and hopefully, we'll learn a little something along the way. In Jesus' name, Amen. Um, so, if I start with some Bands. Um, let's get these done. So I published the bands of marriage between Andrew John Cook Graham of this parish and Claire Louise Martin, also of this parish. This is for the second time of asking. If any of you know any reason in law why they may not marry each other, you are to declare it. Good. Shall we just pray very quickly for this couple? Uh, Father God, thank you for, the, for Claire and Andrew. And I pray that you will just be with them as they prepare for their wedding day and for their lives together. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. So today, uh, service is going to be a little bit about prayer. Um, we're going to learn a little something, hopefully, about about how we pray um, and why we pray. So prayer, to start with, prayer is a conversation between us and God. Um, so even though God created the entire universe and everything in it, he still wants to be close to us and he still wants to have a relationship with us um, and spend some time with us. And he wants us to know, to, to get to know him. And we can do that through prayer. I think we can all agree that's pretty mind-blowing that God wants to know us. Um, so today we're going to think about the ways that we can do that and some of the things that we can put into a prayer. Um, so the first thing is worship or adoration. And so one of the ways that we can communicate with God is through worship, through adoration of him. So uh, let's start by doing that with, uh, I'm going to ask the music group to bring us a song, Nothing Shall Separate Us From the Love of God.
group. Um, I'm just going to have some small technical issues, which means that um, anything that I updated on here last night is, isn't here. So I've missed a little chunk. Um, I was, I've been asked by Stephanie to remember a um, couple in our, in our community who uh, have had a, suffered a house fire in the last couple of days. So um, I just want to pray for them. Um, so if you would just join me in praying for those, that, sorry, not a couple, it's a mother and son. So Father God, we, we bring Anne and Chris to you at this time. We pray that they'll, that they'll just feel your peace with them as they deal with the, the aftermath of their house fire, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Okay, so adoration or it means to love very deeply, very strongly. So when we worship God, we, we do that to thank him for all of the things that, that he's done for us and all of the things that we love him for. Um, so this uh, service is all going to be about bringing together different ingredients of prayer. So, first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to invite Joan to come up with some ingredients. So the ingredients that Joan's bringing up for us are marshmallows. Mm. And Colin's just... <laughs> yeah, so um, so Joan's got some marshmallows for us to put into the bowl. Uh, she's just tasted some of it. Joan, is it good? Yes, it's good. Joan confirms the marshmallows are very good. <laughs> so there we go. Yeah, just, just plonk them in the bowl. Beautiful. That's a great start. Mm. So these marshmallows are representing our worship part of our prayer. Thank you very much. Thank you. So that's, that's one of the ingredients that we can put into our prayer, is praise and worship and telling God how amazing we think that he is. Can anyone think of, of any words that we might use to, to praise God? Got some sharp ones. We just awesome. tell him we love him. We tell him we love him. He's incredible, he's awesome. Incredible, awesome. Magnificent. Magnificent is a good word. Feeling. Yeah, perfect. So fantastic for wanting to know us, and and the best is is also a really good good words to use. So yeah, these are some of the words that we can use to uh, to tell God that we we think He's brilliant. So the next ingredient that we're going to put into our prayer is going to be confession. So confession is admitting that we've done something wrong and then asking God to forgive us. Uh, every single time we ask for confession, God forgives us. There's no, there's no clause in that. We have, to, we have to promise to try and be better, but God is always ready to forgive us. So when we pray... We ask for God's forgiveness and then the, we, we're, we're freer then to come to God and to sit in his presence if we've told him we've got rid of all of those, all of those things that we might have done wrong. So let's spend a couple of moments thinking about something, just in our own minds, think about something that you might want to say sorry to God for. So we'll say together, Lovely Lovely Heavenly, Heavenly Father, we, Father, we say sorry for anything that we have done wrong this week. Love 
So there's chocolate yeah. on two sides. <laughs> Is it good? I might need another. No, <laughs> that's plenty. It's really good. Really it's very good. good. Thank you. I'm happy so to well. add those. So far. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay. So far, it's looking quite good, I think. So, we're going to come on to a note of, uh, a word of thanksgiving. So that's another thing that's really lovely to put into a prayer, is to spend a bit of time saying thank you to God for things that he's given us. And he gives us so many things, but sometimes we forget to say thank you. We take the things that are around us perhaps for granted sometimes, and we forget to say thank you. So, um... What sort of things might we say thank you for? I might be encroaching on Barbara's prayer. Mm -hmm. Phoebe? We could say thank you for giving us this high water, food, and also for the lovely people around us. Yep. Also thank you for the animals that we love and also for the worlds that he's given us too because it's truly beautiful and he's given it to us. Yeah, yeah. Really good answer. So, people food, water, the nature, the whole world. I was going to say, picking the first strawberries. <laughs> picking the first strawberries, nice. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to invite Barbara up to lead us in some Thanksgiving prayers. So much to give thanks for. So giving thanks, it shows our appreciation. It demonstrates that we acknowledge and understand that something's been done for us on our behalf. Someone has made an effort on our behalf. So we have so much to thank God for. And our hearts at times are just filled, overflowed with, they, they are overflowing with gratitude and thanks to God. So, yes, we do forget to give thanks. We, we, we take it for granted these things are done for us by the Lord. And, and uh, we should include them in our prayers. Most, it's very important. So Tammy has prompted you to think of things that you should be thankful for. Has anyone got anything else they'd like to, to say before I Sunshine. read you five? Sunshine. Yeah, it's lovely. Health. 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 Yeah, thank you. Family. Family, yes. That's yes. very important. Yes, absolutely. Yes. yes. Our skills. Yes, lovely. I think also a fellowship, something that we've been, well, a scarce um, resource for the last year or so. Yes. You know, when we can join together and, and share God's work and, and just share in a society um, which we sort of have taken for granted for so long. Absolutely. So, I've thought of some things that... Um, 
I would like to add. Thank you, Lord, that we have freedom to worship here. Um, there's no restraints on us like there are in some communities all over the world. And we thank you for the Bible, that we have God's word in front of us, that we can pick up whenever we want and read however much we like. Thank you that we are, that we can pray. And this can be at any time. And we thank God for, for Jesus, for, for Jesus to come and uh, upon this world. And uh, so much to thank that, uh, be thankful for that, that we have our freedom, that we can be forgiven our sins through Christ. And God's Spirit, the Holy Spirit that lives, among, uh, uh, lives it within us. And that we can talk with God whenever we want to, at any time of day. And he will listen. And in Psalm 145, chapter 145, verse 18, God's promise to be near us whenever we call. We can rest assured that that is the case. We can be thankful for our own walk with God in its own way that is unique and very special to us. He is our constant companion. We need never feel lonely. We just reach out and he is there. So, you've each got a bookmark, I hope. And if anyone hasn't got one, um, there is one on the table over there. And you need, we'll need something to write with. And I would like you to... Think about, have, have a, we're going to have a few moments in prayer to, to encourage you to think about what really is important to you to give thanks to God for. And I would like you to write it in any fashion you like on the bookmark. And then this coming week, if you have a diary you keep, or perhaps when you read your Bible, or your favourite book, perhaps use that bookmark, use this bookmark and then you can look at it and you can, it can remind you just to be thankful for those things and you might like to add to them through the week there's lots of room there for things that you can add okay so we spend some time doing that and I'll come back and then we can just bring all those prayers to God
close now. Thank you very much. And I'd like to um, you to join me in prayer. Lord, we thank you that we have been prompted to bring to you all that we are thankful for. And we are so grateful for these things, Lord. We are sorry that we forget to say thank you when they mean such a lot to us. And Lord, over this coming week, may we be reminded of, of, of this list, of, of what we have written here and how much we owe to you. Lord, please be with us and may we feel your love throughout the coming week. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thanksgiving is our next ingredient for our bowl prayer. So, uh, Barbara, if you'd like to bring up what you have. You. Barbara has got raisins. I've got raisins. Because with all this sugar and chocolate, <laughs> you've just got raisins. Now it's balanced. <laughs> Alan knows now. <laughs> How are they? Nice. Very nice. Mm. Good. Mm. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. So that's another ingredient to our bowl, another ingredient to our prayers. Uh, so I'm just gonna, next going to ask the music group to bring us uh, our next song, which is Lord, I Lift Your Name on High. God for things. He tells us that in the Bible that we can come to him, we can ask for what we need but we have to remember to say thank you and put all those other things in as well. So it, it, God does genuinely care about the things that, that are important to us 
and the things that are on our hearts. And he wants to listen to what is troubling us. He wants to listen to, to what we've got going on. He wants to listen when we're really excited about something. He always wants to, wants to hear from us. So we should always remember to come to God and to, to, to bring to him things that, to ask for help. We sh but we should also remember that we should ask for help for other people as well. So if we know that someone is struggling, for example, might, someone might not be very well. So let's remember to ask God for peace for that person, for healing for that person. Uh, just, just remember other people as well as ourselves. So we can ask for God, God for things for ourselves. Maybe if we're finding something difficult, something might be a struggle at work, at school, um, at home, whatever it might be. You might find something is quite, quite tough, quite challenging. So bring it to God. Tell God, help me out here. Um, and and he's, he's ready to listen. So I'm going to invite the next ingredient, which is Sandra. If you could bring your ingredient up. Um, it's not as exciting as chocolate. <laughs> yeah, it, it's not, but it's all part of it. It's all part of it. Yeah, yeah. It forms a big chunk of, of what we're doing here. So, yeah, Barbara's got, uh, sorry, Sandra's got some uh, digestive biscuits, which are going to go in a bowl. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, good. Right. Good. Very nice. Very nice. Perfect. It's good news. <laughs> if you push them together, push them together, push the two sides. Oh, okay. Yeah. A bit different than usual. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In go the biscuits. So there we are. Our next ingredient of prayer is in the bowl, and that's asking, asking for things, asking for help. Um, so, Sandra, while you're up here, would you like to come and bring us our readings? Yes. It's probably a bit of biscuit. Yes, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> biscuit first. <laughs> right. We have three just short readings that all about praying. And the first one is Philippians chapter 4, verse 6. Don't worry about anything, but pray about everything. With thankful hearts, offer up your prayer and requests to God. The second one is from Thessalonians 5, verses 16 to 18. Always be joyful and never stop praying. Whatever happens, keep thanking God because of Jesus Christ. That is what God wants you to do. And the third one is from Romans 12, verse 12. Let your hope make you glad. Be patient in time of trouble and never stop praying. Thank you. This is the word of the Lord. <laughs> More technical trouble you might notice. It's the theme of the day. Uh, so, yeah, those readings, all readings about prayer, um, and I think that that first one from Philippians, with thankful hearts, offer, offer up your prayers and requests to God. So that, you know, there's, there's your instructions. Be thankful and ask for things. Um, never stop praying, from the Thessalonians reading. Never stop praying. Whatever happens, keep thanking God because of Jesus Christ. And, and the last one, let your hope make you glad. Be patient in time of trouble and never stop praying. So these, these readings tell us we should be praying all the time. Praying when things are good, praying when things are bad. Just praying all the time and being thankful for what we do have. So the, the last ingredient that is going to go in the bowl combines two things, and that's listening and waiting. So we all want our prayers to be answered right now. We, we live in a world where we can get things very, very quickly if we want them. 
Uh, so we, we want the same for our prayers. We want our prayers to be answered right now. But that's not necessarily always going to be the case. God has a plan. Um, but more on this in a moment. Uh, we also remember that we should be quiet with God. We should be listening, spending some time in quiet, listening out for if God wants to tell us anything uh, in response to our prayers. So I'm just going to get the last ingredient added to the bowl and then, uh, yeah, then we'll see what happens next. Phoebe, do you like chocolate? Is that a yes? Would you would you like to come and be the come and add the last ingredient for me? Right. Here's a spoon. Take the spoon. tastes first. You think it's really... So, so Phoebe confirms the melted chocolate, butter, syrup mixture <laughs> is really tasty. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Right. <laughs> yeah, shall I hold it and then do you want to grab that spoon and just kind of scrape it all into the bowl? We don't want to leave any behind, do we? No, we don't. in the bowl. We've got our, all of our parts to pray. We've got our adoration and worship. We've got the confession. We've got the thanksgiving. We've got the asking for things that are troubling us. And we've got listening and waiting. And that's all now there in the bowl. So each of the ingredients that, that have been have gone in the bowl, we've asked everyone to taste them. Everyone said they were on their own, they were all really good. But actually, how much better is this going to be when, they're, when it's all mixed together? What, what do you suggest, Phoebe? I'm going to suggest that it's going to be really tasty, and if we can sign all those prayers together for God, that yeah. would be... Exactly, exactly what I was about to say. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, now that we've put them all together, we have made something that I think is going to be really, really delicious. So, that's how we can think of our prayers. On their own, all of those things, pretty good. And God will still want to hear from us, regardless of what we're saying. But when we mix them together, when we remember not to just keep asking for stuff, but to also include thanksgiving and, and worship, actually what we end up with is something so much better. <coughs> so now obviously this is not quite ready to eat, 
we need to keep mixing it, we need to put it into the, into the tin, and then it needs to go in the fridge to set. So we've got to wait. It's not ready to eat right now. And that brings me back to the, the waiting aspect of it. We could eat it as it is, it might be nice, but actually it's gonna be best if we sit and we wait for it to be, to be set and to be um, at, at, its, at its peak. So um, don't panic, I've made another one of these. So you don't have to wait for it. <laughs> there is one out there. <laughs> Well, anyone who's watching online, give me a wave in the comments. If you're local, I'll bring you some. Um, so, yeah, I think this is going to be a whole lot sweeter now that we've um, now that we've combined everything together. So I'll just leave you with that little thought. Um, and I'm going to ask the music group to bring us our next song, which is Our God is a Great Big God. So join us for, um, for coffee and some of this rocky road um, out the back. Um, yeah, thank you. Thank you for coming, joining me for this service. Um, shall we say the grace together? May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God Fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us all forevermore. Amen. Amen. Um, one thing.
thing I didn't do was with notices at the beginning. Do we have any notices to bring? Cafe is Monday and Tuesday. Yeah, about nine. About eight forty five. Eight forty five onwards. The, the cafe is inside and outside, so um yeah. Is it Yeah. It's a holiday club meeting tomorrow night. And a messy church. And a messy church. I think yours is at eight. Yeah. Yeah. So the holiday club meeting is at eight. Messy church meeting is at seven. Anything else? Anything else going on? Lunch club? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, if we don't see you in a week, we'll see you next Sunday. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thanks, Oh, yeah. Smell it because <laughs> it smells delicious. <laughs>